So what I'm gonna do real quick right now is wash my Celica GTS, have a nice clean look on it, and then I'm gonna pull it in and we are going to install some uh, LED headlights bowls. So I already got really nice Anzo headlights on my Celica. I really like them, I highly recommend them. They're very attractive. Um, but I'm gonna put install some LED lights and I'm really looking forward to doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that right now. My uh, GTS inside. Um, it's wet uh, because I just washed it. So I'm gonna dry it off real quick. I'm gonna grab a Mitchell Ray uh, microfiber. I'm actually out of those. I don't have any more of those on my website. I sold out of them. Um, I'm gonna make a new set uh, really soon. And I think I'm gonna make some hats as well. Um, but I definitely love to have some Mitchell Ray uh, microfiber chamois. I love those. Uh, they're big and I gotta get a new set, but I'm gonna do a new design, I think. So um, that'll be coming soon. I'm looking forward to having a new set of those. Uh, but let's go ahead and um, op or dry off the car, open up the hood, and uh, look at those bulbs to see which, which ones will fit on this setup that I kind of have. Because as you guys saw in, when I pulled in, there was LEDs and a halo on each side of the headlight, but no um, LED bulb in that, or uh, high beam or low beam. So I don't have any bulbs in it, so I can't drive the car at night. So um, let's go ahead and uh, dry the car off, pop open the hood, and uh, get a nice, this car looks so beautiful, perfect paint. Um, so get a nice shine on it, and um, then we'll start working on the uh, headlights. The globe shines to connector right there the I don't even have it that tight on there I'm gonna tighten it up the wire behind it that connects that's the negative side literally just broke off like broke off I've never seen that before um, corrosion uh, so battery corrosion it's very common uh, I really like optimum, nutri uh, optimum nutrition optimum nutrition is for working out I really like optimum batteries the red tops so eventually I would like to get one for this car um, but I thought that was crazy that broke off so I had to get a new um, connector, so I went with a brass connector. I thought that looked kind of cool. 
Uh, but I would like to have a red uh, battery very soon there. But that was crazy. I broke off. I, I couldn't believe that. I've never seen that before. It's like a lot of days later. <laughs> I miss making YouTube content so much, but life's so busy. Um, I like to watch my own YouTube content while I work out, and I've been like super into fitness lately. I love working out, but I really like watching my own content while I do like the Stairmaster. That's my favorite thing. And uh, I've just been so busy, I haven't been able to finish this, but I've been trying to get these headlights on my GTS so I can drive my GTS at night. But what has happened since uh, the couple days is I took out this headlight because I couldn't get the bulb to work with this lighting and this stuff right here. So I'm actually gonna come over to my workbench here. And here's, here's the headlight. So what I'm gonna do right now is set the headlight. Um, I'm gonna rotate it, flip it over, and I will go ahead and show you guys what I can do is see if I can get a bulb to fit in here. With these Anzos, I believe this is an H1 bulb for the uh, high, high beam, and then for the low beam, I think it's an H7. So I'm gonna see if I can get an H7 to fit in there real quick. So this video is sponsored by, uh, it's funny to say that, by Oxbeam right here. I'm gonna have their link below. They sent me out some H1. These are really nice, and H7 bulbs. Insanely nice, really nice of them. I'm very thankful for them, very generous of them. Uh, they sent me out these bulbs here, so this is their company. Look how insanely aesthetic those are. Black and red, what is up? Everyone knows that is my color, black and red. Literally everything's black and red, black and red. That's like all my cars. I love that color scheme. Um, it's funny because I'm actually wearing white right now. But let's go ahead and take the H7 bulbs and set them in right here to see if I can get them to fit on these Anzo headlights right there. So that's where the H7 is. This is an H1. And I have the headlight flipped over. So let's go ahead and do that right now on these Anzo lights. Beautiful. So I was able to get it on. Uh, I had to use some pliers, but it is really on and in there. So these do fit, and they do look insanely aesthetic. That's the H7. Let's go ahead and grab the H1 bulb. Again, thank you, Oxbeam. I love you and everything to me. So right here, there's these cute little dots right here. I'll just put these cute little dots right into the hole and then line it up. Very beautiful. And then it has a flat bottom spot. So we'll slide it in there. And goes in a very specific way. Now the same thing, there's these prongs on here that you're gonna have to kind of wiggle yourself around. If you have small hands, good. Small fingers, I think that would be beneficial in this, this, this case. Yeah, this would be, you'd be amazing if you could get that, there you go. You'd be honestly, I'd be so impressed if you were able to get these on while the, uh, you'd be able to get those on while the um, headlight was on a car. That's it right there. So um, there is a cap for these, like this right here. Can you guys see that? And it was to cover all, all the protecting it from the, any dust or debris getting in there. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna pull, cut a little hole in this and pull these out and then put that other, this this side, I'm gonna run this side through it. So I think I'll just kind of snip a little hole there. Yeah, I've just been running without the other cap. I think I call that good for this headlight. Um, I do highly, highly recommend moving the actual headlight before you try to install these bulbs. Very difficult. That looks great right there. I wish I did have a cap on that one. I don't know where it is. Um, and then here are the two different ends. We're gonna go ahead and move over to the car and try to install this one. Um, so a long time ago, I had to go to like a junkyard to find this piece right here, and then I splice it into this because this is a 2003 Toyota Celica GTS, and I only had like clips. These only worked on um, 2002 to 2000 or non-HID, non-Xenon. Non uh, so I had to go out and find this, and I found it. So as you guys can see here, I connected the positive and the negative right there to this, which goes into the high beam. So the high beam should work with a LED from Oxbeam, but for this part right here, I have no idea how I'm gonna get, like this thing looks nothing like this thing, nor does it look like the other one. And I don't wanna split into this one. I'm gonna have to, but I don't wanna split into this one because I don't wanna find out what the positive and the negative is. 
but I'm gonna have to do that somehow. Unless maybe I can tap into this and fuse this all together. Once again, that might be a good idea. But then that would just be the high beams wrong, all, or all, all the beams wrong all the time. And I don't really want that. But we should get some kind of LED. Yeah, there we go. Woo, baby! That is nice. We are in business. We are in business. Dang, ox beam. Dang, ox beam. Wow, I wish you guys were here. Dang, ox beam, low. Wow, those are beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely gorgeous. So I do have the high beams to work, so I did figure out that that works. Uh, now I just gotta find how what the wiring uh, diagram is for the uh, low beams. I like the low beams better. I love that top bolt. It'll look really good for pictures uh, versus the high beams. But the high beams are, those are awesome. Thank you. I love LED. I'm super big fan of LED. I've always loved LED more than, um, than uh, not halogen, but HIDs. I've always had HIDs burn out all the time. So. And we have success. That was a doozy. So I do have the top one, but it also goes on with the low one. I, I don't think I have a high beam and a low beam switch. Um, I might roll this for a little bit. Yeah, so they're just both on. So if I flick it, they just both turn on. There's no high beam and low beam. It's just on. Um, I think I'm okay with that for right now, unless I get a bunch of people doing their high beams at me, then I probably won't. Um, the reason why is this is not meant to be like this. Setup, this is a weird setup. What I actually did is I, chopped into i believe the motor line so there was a little motor um that would scroll up up and down inside of the headlight i think that's actually what's buttoned up right here on this one yeah and i um cut into that one and that actually let's see if i have it it might be on the other side i'll have to show you but i actually cut into that one here it is i'll show you right here. this this is crazy i really went into this but right here this is where the you plug it in, I believe, it to the side of the OEM HID, and then it allows it to go up and down that headlight like by five clicks. It doesn't really do too much. It's kind of like my Evo. My Evo has it. SDIs have it. It's, it's, it's kind of like a rally or JDM thing. Um, but I actually cut into the pos positive and negative right here and split it on those two. That's what I was doing right there. So I split it onto those two. I'm gonna pull those back off. Shut the lights off. Pull those back up, and then I'm just gonna rent like that for a while, the high and low at the same time. I think that might be pretty cool. Um, if anything, if I really don't want them, to be honest, I think I can just unplug this one. So let's do, try that real quick. So I just unplugged it, I think. So if I just wanted to run the top one, that's how that would be. Um, it just means that they're running on the same circuit. And I'm, I'm, I don't know what I, I'm gonna do. I wonder how I can fix that, because that'd be some that'd be a lot of extra additional wiring. I have to figure out why. And I remember I had last time I did this, I had a lot of issues. I couldn't find out. What it, why I couldn't get them to run, but I remember that there's like, I had this right here on this cable, this cable, this cable. I had it like backwards, I like flipped these. There's four that go into this one, and I spliced off the wrong ones to run these ones. That's what I did last time. But there's obviously power going onto this, and then there's power coming off of that one when I do the, um, when I do the low beams. With the high beams, it doesn't kick over a different signal. I'm not sure why. I don't know why it does. Which one's a high beam, or which one I'd have to tap into? But I believe it's something from this. This is that I'd have to tap into this right here. But as for now, I think I'm just going to run. For now, I'm just going to run both of them. Nah, oh, I can't decide. Write in the comment below. So I just run the top one, and then if I need a high beam driving around later, I can turn them on. I'll do that. I'll just run the top one. I'll cover up the lower one, and then if I want to do the high beams later. I really don't drive this car besides like, I just don't daily drive this car. It just, I love this car too much. It just sits, I don't daily drive it. So I'll just run the top one for now. Okay, so I decided to do just the high beam. Here is not my janky, but actually beautiful because I'm pretty good at this stuff. I've gotten so much better at wiring over the years. Look how nice that looks. OEM, everything's red and black, baby. Red and black, some silver, red and black. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it turns on now. I buttoned it all up. You know, in case it rains or something. I wash my car so much. Yeah, we got success. So we're gonna go ahead and set this headlight back in. And that's how I'm gonna run it right now. So I'm gonna set the headlight back in, button it up. I'll put the blinker back on. I'll put the uh, halo, right? This is the halo and LEDs. 
and I'll put that back on. This is going to be a good video. I love long videos. I'm going to watch this like three times when I'm at the gym. Um, and then I'm going to do this to the other side. And then I, I'll actually take this car out tonight and take it to the gym and film this. And then I'll edit this video and I can watch. I'm going to put it in the parking garage and get a nice shot with the lights on. Ooh, sexy. Love it. So all the lights work on there. Dang, that's bright. It's like we're blinding you guys. But uh, all, the, all the lights work on there, except for with the headlight. If I do want to turn the high beam on, I'll have to plug that in. But I wrapped it all up and tucked it underneath there, so it's going to be waterproof. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. So that's awesome. So to do the headlight um, low beam, you do have to turn it all the way on. And then on one click, it'll just be the, here, I'll show you. I have the emergency flashers on. But one click will just be the LEDs. And then I turn the flashers on. I don't much care for these flashers. I'll end up getting a different bulb. I don't really care for those. I'm gonna get like, some kind of LED. But I know that the LEDs do blink faster, so if there's a non-default LED and I have to find it, I'll put that on. But nice, nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat it over on the other side. I do, again, I, I recommend removing the entire headlight. So difficult on the GTS. Um, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. You remove the 10 millimeter here and the 10 millimeter here and uh, from the front bumper and it'll move the, like, just like right over here, it'll move the front bumper cover a little bit so you can remove that headlight. So let's go ahead and do that one. All right, quick tip. If you ever get to this craziness of wiring on your Celica, which I don't think you have, I think this whole headlight situation with the 2003 um, Celica GTS with the Anzo headlights or Celica, I, I don't think you'll ever get to this weird of a situation. I mean, even with the aux beam bulbs, uh, these aux beam bulbs are meant for the not all, all, all 2000 to 2005 Celicas, but non uh, Xenon or HID OEM. Uh, there are three cords that came out of that electric motor. There are two power. The skinnier one right here that I'm holding does not yield enough power. Use this solid green one and it yields enough power, which really makes the, the, uh, the, the LED bright. Because I tried it on the other one and it was flickering. It wasn't very powerful. So make sure you use the solid green one, not the one with the red and the green stripe. Uh, if you ever get to this part. Okay, so here's the GTS. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Headlights are off. Let's go ahead and turn them on. So we'll do one click. So there's one click. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Mean, really mean looking. Wow. So that's just kind of like if you're going to a car show or whatnot, you can just leave it on like that. And then now, there it is. Look at that, look at that. Woo! Dang, gorgeous. Oh, yes. It really picks up. That is nice. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Sweet. So that's it. I got it on there. This video literally took me like a week, <laughs> like one week to film. I've just been so busy. Um, I love this car. I miss doing the YouTube for this car. It's gorgeous. I'm glad I got headlights on it. Now I can actually drive it at night. Uh, believe it or not, I did all this video, um, I got these, this is a nice sponsored headlight, so I'll swing by Oxbeam, uh, I'll put their link down below if you want some of these. They'll fit on all yours. If you do the HID 03 
removal, which is kind of a faux pas, but if you do that and end up putting some Anzo ones on, or Anzo or whatever you want to say, I, I really like the black housing on the Anzo. I think they're more modern than the O3 um, HIDs, but really satisfied. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.